I wanna go LARPing one day, just to say I did it. <laughs> I love that this one's clean to focus. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy who done get it. I'm on top of the list, trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me, it's like a solar eclipse. Ah, ah. What's up, y'all? So the African geek here. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into Hawkeye episode two. Uh, the first episode, um, Never Meet Your Heroes, was phenomenal. More Kate centric than I thought it would be, but it was phenomenal. Ended on the hella cliffhanger. The opening though, the opening of the first episode, the whole sorry invasion, but from Kate's point of view, Chef's Kiss, um, I'm here for it, man. The way they made they made they made kind of natural. Kate couldn't keep her head under ground long enough to find herself in trouble like she always does. They kind of showed us how impulsive she is. How fearless she li she is, and she can kick ass, man. But like, she really shined. This is episode two, so let's get into episode two and stop bragging about episode one and how great it was. Anyway, let's dive right in. Hawkeye, hide and seek. Always do. This opening. Previously on. Six days into what if it was her mom who got him killed? So long as previously. They don't need to show us this. I just watched this whole episode. Avengers theme. Da -da -da. They even are sh showing us this whole scene again. He was ready to fuck her up, Joe. Come on. <laughs> How did you get the suit? Tell him. She's she's fangirling right now. Look at how concerned he is. Hawkeye. <laughs> like a year ago. <laughs> she's trying to learn from the best. The world's greatest archer. <laughs> she lives in a pizza shop? Oh man. <laughs> what did he get himself into? She's 22. Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> Stay cool. <laughs> she brought her. Uh, <laughs> bow. <laughs> she's she's making him sign. When you are, could you sign my bow? Is her name? Tracksuit Mafia. Bro. Kept the mask on like a pro. The person that wore this. You're so concerned for her well-being. Oh shit! They actually know it's her. Oh shit! Who? This scene is cool as fuck. <laughs> Your house is on fire though. Ooh, that's dangerous. Throw another one. Why don't they let the suit just burn? Like a little shish kebab. <laughs> She's so excited. Is it Avengers Tower? <laughs> Tony <Come on>. Swords. Jeez. <laughs> she, did she see Avengers Tower? Doesn't have the A anymore. Yeah. The chemistry is amazing. I actually do know a place. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pizza. <laughs> Where is she taking him? Damn. So uh, his kid's like in the hotel or something? She gonna try lock picking? Right. She can lock pick now? Did she give up earlier? Is there cats here? He's allergic to cats? Okay. Damn, he's actually sneaking around the cops? That's, this is not his first rodeo. This is what I want, more clint. Where's the suit? Why would it be upstairs now? Somebody took the suit? Did Echo take it? <laughs> Pizza dog. What? What's... He's such a kind human, man. They're gonna have so many scars by the end of this. Crispy. Ha! <laughs> Very right. Oh man. 
Such a friendly dog. You're a good dog. Just gotta send them home now. Car, <laughs> on, he lost Nate. They know sign language because he's going deaf. Oh, that's cute. God damn. He has to make it home Christmas now. Pizza dog. He still got the tattoo sleeve. Rogers the musical. My mom is already. She owns a security. She's wearing. Her aunt's nightgown. She's not gonna listen to me, are you? Damn. So all these things led to Cadmus Everdeen shit is funny. She's trying to be his PR agent. She doesn't want to say goodbye. Okay, please don't. Where's she headed? Bishop security. This dude could have planned the murder, so he gets the inheritance. He's very dear. Your aunt got style. What's this I hear about a fire? Who are you now a therapist? Boundaries. Diagnosing her. She feels threatened by me a stepdad. He bought a book. <laughs> okay, I'll give him props. He actually has feelings. Kate. New York is such a great setting. But the lap is over. I'll take it too serious. He's talking about a thief. He's gonna have to play along. One free hit. So violent. I wanna go lopping one day. Okay. Just to say I did it. <laughs> I love that this one's Clint focus. So that fireman just took the ninja costume. Ooh, the slow mo. <laughs> Are they all teaming up against him? This is classic. He's killing so many of them. <laughs> this is some of the best slow mo ever. Whatever the hell this is, I'm plumb out of patience. And you pretend to die. And I real punch you. And you're gonna. Oh, man. Ever gonna get to be in one? He's like iPod then. <laughs> Miss me yet? <laughs> Don't pretend to be busy with your friends. <laughs> okay. She's not cool under pressure. It's a Damn, it's like a duel. You didn't drink the potion. Cling! <laughs> Cling! <laughs> <laughs> this is funny, though. <laughs> the slow boy in this episode is every. They find the course? <laughs> Look how nice he is to people, man. How can you not love him after these two episodes? He's so nice. So he did tell his wife. She knows everything. His wife is so understanding. Is she like a former shield agent too? <laughs> She's really eyeing him down. I am not. I doubt. Would you say you're more on move on now? No, but I think must suck being a stepdad though, Loki. Yeah. Then you know. Are they fans right now? Gotta love the theatrics though. They legit fencing right now. <laughs> Fence on! Jack wore the whole outfit. Jack is making... He's totally letting her win. He was holding back. Their relationship is so odd. I low-key think... Your mom is kinda involved. Bitch of security. <laughs> Damn, Mr. Candy. Butterscotch. What's up, bro? She wants him alive. Who is she? Guys, I can see through the back. <laughs> I love this show so much. 
The jump cuts are not that much of a problem anymore in this episode. How is she gonna find him? Yeah. Oh, they answered the phone. Tracksuit Mafia. That's why she can track motherfuckers. Because of the security company. Makes sense. We legit have an MCU Christmas show. We have a Christmas movie and a Christmas show. They really think they got the upper hand. You kid. You kid. I know you kid. He's getting so touchy about the layer. Who do you think I am? Not guy. Kate Bish is this guy, bro. This is comedy gold. <laughs> the tricks with Mafia comedy calls, fam. <laughs> oh, Kate Bishop. Bro, I found her. <laughs> comedy gold. Is Echo deaf too? It's really including a lot of deaf people lately, the MCU. Cliffhanger ending? Not a dope ass episode. I'm so happy because I legit watched The Flash before this and I hated it so much. This brought back my mood, fam. I'm really happy now because how great the show is. Characters are consistent. The plot and the character are equal lining. No plot is more important. No character is more important. This is great writing. Another 8 out of 10 episode, man. You know what I'm saying? I wish they gave us all six episodes. This cliffhanger thing sucks. Because I got to wait a whole week, man. A whole week? Kate Bishop and Clint's chemistry is amazing, man. It's amazing. Seeing Hawkeye actually being mired. The way you get so much hate in the streets. <laughs> um, It's kind of amazing. Um, This episode was more Clint oriented made clint such a good guy man he's such a good guy still dealing with natasha's trauma of her dying hope they get reunited somehow maybe different universes like that natasha from what if that apocalypse one man it would be so amazing they got some mcu you know what you're doing i don't need to say more this was phenomenal tracksuit mafia Killed it. That last scene, comedy gold. <laughs>